Hello, Lou Wallace Mustangs. So today for our virtual art lesson, we are gonna try to make a picture kind of like the Impressionists and like Vincent Van Gogh, which we talked about last time. Um, just to refresh your memory, um, you know, earlier this week, in the first lesson this week, I showed you the Van Gogh Museum and I wanted you to look around and look at some Impressionist art. And there's other artists other than Vincent Van Gogh. And then yesterday I talked about Vincent Van Gogh's sunflowers. And then I also drew some flowers, showed you how to draw some flowers. And now today I'm gonna show you how to kind of use color without just coloring stuff in. You don't always have to color inside the spaces to make something look colorful. You can try something very different. And you know, with Vincent Van Gogh, he did that same kind of concept, except he made little tiny marks and he used all kinds of colors. And then it still looked very cool. So what I want you to do, you can use crayons. Crayons work fine. If you happen to get out and about, you can get some oil pastels. Um, the Expressionist brand is pretty good. I like it. And this other brand, the Specialist brand, they're both made by the same company. Oil pastels are oil pastels to me. They're all kind of like greasy, greasy crayons. But I like using these because they're very painterly. So like Vincent Van Gogh used really thick paint on his, you know, paintings and stuff. And I think oil pastels really mimic that. So for the interest of time, I don't want like a 15 minute video. I'm just gonna do one little step just for you to get going and to practice. And again, practice drawing flowers if you haven't gotten it down yet. And you know, you can still practice doing this more than once, even with colors. I mean, that's how a lot of things that I do that come out really good, I've done several times before I've made it really well, you know, so it's okay to try it over and over again. So first thing, um, when you start on your flowers, okay, and maybe the next lesson I'll refresh your memory on how to draw, but you can just look at the other video, how I drew the flowers. So I'll do it later on, I guess, maybe next lesson I'll recoup your mind. So I'm just gonna use a couple colors. That's all I'm gonna do. And so for the first color that I wanna do for the middle, of my sunflower is I'm just gonna do the brown marks on the edge. Let's see, you see that? I know it's a little tough to see. And maybe I'll zoom in or pull it off the wall for you. I'm gonna make little brown marks like this. And we're just gonna do the middle of my flower right now, just to focus on that. I'm gonna put some little brown marks in there. And I mean, you could also trace the outline of your circle with your brown as well. Now. I like to use a couple different things in this corner, in this center. Just use a little bit of red. And now we're making little tiny marks. Not coloring anything in yet. We're just making little tiny marks. And let's see, I'm gonna move my computer a little closer, maybe to help you see a little better. I know. Um, I'm just using little tiny red marks. Okay, little marks. And the next step, even after red, I might use another color like ochre. It's like a dark yellow. Okay, ochre color is like a dark yellow color. I'm gonna use some of that. I'm gonna use this dark yellow quite a bit, but I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna do next. Now, the cool thing about this is, is after you start doing just a bunch of different marks, this stuff's filled in. This is where you could take your yellow or your orange, okay, which I don't have an orange actually for some reason. But hey, I got yellow and red, so I can make orange. So I can use my yellow now. We can blend or kind of start to color in the middle of our sunflower, and things are gonna start to get blended in a little bit. Starting to get some dark values on the edges. Starting to get brighter in the middle. I mean, you can always go back and add more marks or add more to it, you know? Like if I want a little bit more red in there, we know that red and yellow make orange. I can still add some more red in there and then I can take my yellow again and start to scribble around and spread some of that around. Maybe try doing swirls. You can blend these oil pastels together. So that was the first step, okay? And I mean, it looks pretty good so far. We can go back and change it some more. So why don't you give it a shot? I used, like I said, three different colors, four different colors. I'll show you again real fast. Um, I took a brown, which I lost. Here we go. I took a brown, I outlined my circle, the middle of my circle. 
or I mean flower. I did some little tick marks, just little marks after that. And then some red marks. You can do yellow if you want. The dark ochre, ochre color. Dark ochre is like a dark yellow. It's kind of a weird color, but it's good for this uh, project. Did some red marks, some ochre marks, and some brown marks, and I used my yellow to kind of blend it all together or swirl together and try different, you know, strokes or different kinds of marks to make these things move around. I mean, you can do it in swirly kind of motions or circles, and it'll kind of start to mimic that motion. Look, try that for today. Practice it a little bit. See if you, you know, if you get oil pastels, just play around with them and practice it a little bit. If you got just crayons, just use crayons. I mean, crayons will do just fine. Um, I've done this lesson with crayons, or you know, oil pastels are a little more fun. So give it a shot. I mean, that's just the start of it. We're just doing the middle of our flower today, and tomorrow I'll show you how to do the petals and the rest of the drawing. So just for the interest of time, I'm breaking into smaller stuff. So just try that a little bit. Look at Vincent Van Gogh's work. Look at the Van Gogh website. Have a good day, guys. See you next time.